What's going on with y'all? Everybody come in right now, hit the like button. But understand this though, understand this. I'm not pushing nothing on you. This is simply what I believe. Hit the like button, but Bill Cosby will be, will be released immediately. The Pennsylvania Supreme Court said that he did not receive a fair trial and they ordered that Bill Cosby be re released immediately from prison. Um, he served two years of his 10 year sentence. He's 83 years old. And me personally, now I'm speaking for myself. I don't know what you believe or what you feel from the Bill Cosby case. But to me, I feel like it's a good day for him and his family. I feel like they railroad Bill Cosby in a lot of ways. And I salute that brother for standing on with that elder, that 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 um that strong brother that, that really stood on what he believed in. For us, when it came to the trial, they wanted to break Bill Cosby. They wanted Bill Cosby to say that he did whatever they said that the women accused him of or the, Whatever he was accused of, they wanted him to admit that, and he never did. He went to jail and said that, you know what I'm saying, he found peace in jail, basically. Right? He found peace and said that it, it wasn't so, it's not so bad, and he's not going to break and admit to something that he felt like he didn't do. Um, we've seen a lot of guys had a lot of jokes about Bill Cosby, calling him Bill Cosby, so on and so forth. But at the end of the day, um, even when he went back in, uh, back in front of the Supreme Court again or went back in front of those same people and they was going to try to set up an early release for him, so on and so forth, they just wanted him to admit his wrongdoings. Even then, he said he'll go back to basically he'll go back to jail or he'll go back to a cell because he's not going to admit to something that he didn't do. That man stood on him saying that he didn't do X, Y, and Z that they accused him of. And now you see the Pennsylvania Supreme Court is, is demanding that he be released immediately because he did not receive a fair trial. Anybody from, from, from at least from my side of the fence, I don't know about your side, I can't tell you the way you feel about things. Um, but everybody look at it with, 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 from a different eye view, you can see that they want to be with Cosby bad. They want the railroading bad. And I'm not saying whether it was true or not true, but you can just tell the way they treated him. The trial that he got, his whole situation, his whole process, it was almost as though that he wasn't do a, uh, he wasn't given a, a, a fair shot. Um, it was a lot of uh, white women and different things like that that was saying things about Bill Cosby. And it was like they wanted, they wanted to, um, they wanted to shut him down from whatever reason that they had had it out for Bill Cosby. You seen that um, the same people that he made a lot of money for, they had it out for him. You know, a lot of times you see when a brother, you know, what I'm saying, as long as you're making no money, as long as you're making no money and pulling in the revenue, they will support you 100. percent But the minute you done making no money or or you no longer aligns with them, they'll come after you and try to shut you down. And that's what I say about Charlamagne the God. Right now, I feel like he's protected because he's making a lot of people millions and millions of dollars. But you best believe he gonna be bootlicking the tap dancer for now because the minute they feel like you are you are no longer of value to them, you're no longer making them money. Now you're trying to make um generational wealth for you and yours. And they can't make no more money off for you and shut you down yes. whenever they get ready. Whenever they get ready and they've seen enough and it's like, okay, now you're not going to do what we say no more. You're not going to you know, saying, obey what we want you to do or, or put out whatever agenda we want you to put out, whatever narrative we want you to put out. Basically, if you're not going to be a puppet for us, okay, well, we're going to show you what type of power we have. Now we're going to come and shut you down because you don't have the man. You don't have the masses no more. Like you don't have these billionaires and these big, large platforms supporting you because you're backing them. I'm backing you because you're making them a lot of money. Bill Cosby at one point was the highest, one of the biggest names in all of sports, all of uh, comedy, uh, television. Bill Cosby was, was, was the biggest name you could find. He was making a lot of people millions and hundreds of millions of dollars and billions of dollars. But the minute he became older in his career and he was no longer working for them, but he was starting to create his own thing and he was already successful, it wasn't about um, him continuing to make them money, but more so now starting to speak for the the the, the, um, the youth and things like that and there's different things that he was trying to do and all and all that he was generating now for him, him and his family or his whatever he had going on it was no longer about them getting all these hundreds of millions and billions of dollars off of Bill Cosby you start to see the, them come at him with all type of stuff you start to see uh, women from 30 years before saying he did things to him and all that, and, he, and they convicted that man on that you know what I'm saying it was like it was almost like he didn't get a fair shake I'm not gonna dig all the way into it today I'm just happy to say that um for him and his family, I'm just happy to say that, you know, they, they, they're going to release Bill Cosby immediately. And you guys hit the like button if you're happy to hear that. If you guys not happy to hear that, hey, I understand, you know, you got your opinion. But me, I look outside the box a little bit and I understand that these people really have agendas. 
And they really, really want, they said, one of the comedians, I can't remember what he was, he said nobody would leave uns unshaved, basically. Uh, you no, know, you no know, things what they said about Kobe Bryant. You know the things they said about Mike Tyson. You know the things they said about Tupac. You know the things they said about um, now Bill Cosby. I mean, like just uh, uh, Michael Jordan gambling. You know what I'm saying? All these people that you know, if you become like a major, uh, um, immortalized type of name, uh, you can't leave this industry without something attached to your name. And we're seeing that again with Bill Cosby, in my opinion. Which I'm not saying the man was flawless. I'm not saying that maybe he didn't do some things. But I feel like the way they went at him so hard with him being that uh, being an older man like he is, um, they want to make an example out of Bill. Yeah, so and I mean, you, and you guys seen like when Dick Gregory, I believe his name was, I, I believe it was Dick Gregory, when he was telling you guys how uh, Bill Cosby was trying to buy NBC from GE. I mean, like listen to that. Bill Cosby was trying to buy NBC, into which where he can control that whole platform. I mean, control that whole station and be able to bring on a lot of young black. Um, 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 uh, actors and young black acts and so on and so forth. It's not the same as a um, Tyler Perry that's, that's trying to do like his little individual thing in which he tried to build his little village in Atlanta uh, the, on Confederate ground, which he said Bill Cosby was trying to do it on a massive level. You know, you got ABC, you got NBC, you know, you those are the big umbrellas. You know what I'm saying? And Bill Cosby, I don't know how true it was, but this is what Dick Gregory said. You know, another a guy that was around and, and well seasoned and understood the agenda. He was talking about how when Bill Cosby was trying to buy NBC and he was getting close to trying to finalize the deal on, on, on uh, closing in on buying NBC, that's when you started seeing um, everybody start coming at Bill Cosby and they start trying to destroy him because it was no longer that he's going to be a worker for these guys or a worker for these guys with the, uh, uh, the masters, so to speak, right? It was no longer that he was going to be working for those guys. He was going to try to create a, create the foundation of which when he buy NBC, now he can come up with the young actors. He could put out the message that he wanted to see um, from the young comedians, so on and so forth, right? And, and I've seen a lot of comedians had a little flack with Bill Cosby, but at the end of the day, it was only because Bill Cosby didn't like the way that they would cuss on stage or the way they would say the N-word and so on and so forth because Bill Cosby is from that old foundation in which, you know, he believed that, you know, it was a lot, a lot of the words that we say had a lot of power and we just didn't know it, being, or they just didn't know it, being young comedians, so on and so forth. So it's no different than your elders in the neighborhood when they try to serve correction. These are not young upcoming comedians that's trying to get in the game. Bill Cosby and so many others that, that came before them, they understood um, how we should be looking the way we should be carrying ourselves because at the end of the day he understood what the masters is trying to uh capitalize on what when they see a guy that's coming into the game they don't really know what he's saying or really don't understand the um the magnitude of the words that he's saying that they know that he know that they could pray on those type of guys from my opinion from what i'm just seeing in the story that i read along the way but that's here and over there at the end of the day um yeah, man, Bill Cosby seemed like he was targeted in a lot of ways. And he didn't have a fair shake from the beginning. They knew coming into it, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna make an example to show all these black people that you know what I'm saying they look up to Bill Cosby. He was like the uh, world's dad, or or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying he was like he was like the guy that we could turn on TV, and they actually had the real black uh, family. Doctor Hux, the Doctor Huxtable. You know what I'm saying like the black man as a doctor. You know, so it's like. Um, I ain't, I ain't gonna keep on going on and on about it. I just wanna know below. You guys let me know what you think. We're gonna make this a quick video. You guys let me know uh, below what you think about Bill Cosby getting out on an early release. Is it a good day or is it a day that you feel like um you feel like they should have kept him in there? Me personally, I stand here even if I stand alone and say, man, I'm happy they let that man loose. I'm happy they let him free because you know, um, that is an older man. That man, 83 years old, there's no reason why they should have sent him to 10 years for some things that happened, supposedly, allegedly had happened way for 30 years like, like, like come on man you know what i'm saying they had it out for bill cosby in my humble opinion so that's just the way i feel about it you may feel different i'm not knocking you for feeling different but at the end of the day bill cosby about to come home and uh salute to that man you guys hit the like button always remember each one teach one as long as we have each other we'll continue to grow together um and yeah man i'm i just that's all i want to say i, I want to bring it to y'all and tell y'all that bill cosby will be free and understand understand this these people these people that's in a higher position, as long as you're making no money, Charlemagne the God, as long as you're making no money, they'll protect you. As you see now, nobody can get Charlemagne the God off the Breakfast Club. Nobody, they, they, I mean, come on. Like, this woman, mother has came out with receipts. He done said it out of his mouth, so on and so forth. But you see, anybody else, they would have been let him go. 
but he's making him a lot of money. He's tied into a lot of different podcasts that's booming right now. He's tied into the Breakfast Club, one of the biggest uh, syndicated radio show. He's tied into his brilliant idiots. He's tied into so much stuff. Got his hands to so much that he's making these people hundreds of millions of dollars. Um, and they're going to protect that money. But understand, the minute you're not making them any money no more, Charlemagne, the minute they, they, they no longer need you, they take their hands off for you. And that's when you're going to have some trouble. That's when you're going to see maybe 20 years from now, 15, 20 years, and in Bill Cosby case, 25, 30 years later, they made sure they still come back and show you that you are and will always be an N-word to them. Understand that. Each one, teach one, as long as we have each other, we'll continue to grow together.